Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at this Geco G80 wireless gaming headset. Um, Geco reached out to me. They were kind enough to provide this free of charge for my honest review. I put a disclosure on there. Usually manufacturers do reach out to me sometimes to do um, to review their, their gear. And I was glad to oblige and, and check it out. And I'm going to give you my honest assessment of this. We're going to look at the, we're going to unbox and look at the, the actual headset. And then the latter section, the last half of the video, I'll put it into good use and give you my assessment on your honest opinion and what do i think about this headset but as we open it up it is bubble wrapped there's no clamshell so maybe that explains why the box was beat up from amazon when i got it but either or it does look like it it didn't suffer any um, damage from the box being dented up same with the manual it did get a little bit folded up but this um headset it does feature a 2.4 wireless and uh, does have a 10 hour battery life um, it has that shift in rgb led it does have virtual 7.1 surround sound. Uh, it does have a detachable microphone. Um, it also is Nintendo Switch compatible. You can also use this headset on the PS4 or a PS5 and also on a PC or a Mac as well. So definitely um, a lot of different systems you can actually use this headset on. And um, there is open up the package for the accessories and we'll, we'll take a look at these. But yeah, overall, the headset just looking at just looks like it's got build quality looks pretty decent so but let's look at the accessories first before we delve into the rest of the headset actual headset but here we look at the detachable microphone it's um it looks pretty flexible it's made of um hard plastic on each end but it does have a nice flexible section where you can actually move it in and out away from your your mouth for you know certain distance it does have a rechargeable cable usb and a usb c right there so you can does have the that 10 hour um battery life as, as, as they state it does have a 10 hour battery life and then the next piece we're going to pull out here is the aux cable that has a 3.5 on either end and also has an inline mic control so so nice so that actually will go into your mac or a pc right there or you, you can even put it in probably I'm assuming you could probably put it in your phone or what have you anything that has a 3.5 that has music there is the wireless dongle that will you could put into your pc i think and also your mac or even mainly the PS4 and the PS5, as far as I know. But we're going to do that, test a, test that out today, and I'll look at and give you an assessment of that. But let's look, take a look at the, the actual headset itself. Definitely looks great. Looks good. Feels good. The pads look pretty, um, very, I mean, very nice. It uh, seems pretty sturdy. Um, it does, definitely doesn't look like it's got some flex to it. And the construction looks pretty sturdy. It does have look, looks like a, what looks like metal, but most of it is plastic. But it definitely doesn't feel flimsy at all. I mean, it definitely has some really good, um, structure to the headset which it looks which is nice and then there is the rgb the shift in led rgb um, light in feature of the headset and then even on the sides feels even this little rubber port for the mic so even the side of the, the actual headset too has a little feels like a little little rubber in there instead of the hard plastic for the like the rest of the headset and there is the 3.5 aux in um, where you put that in and there's a USB C. and then we'll look at the four um, functions controls there and then if we get it, the orientation right here that is the power button there is the volume control the um the high and then the middle piece is um button is for the mic mute and then the, the other last one is put the volume level down and there is the sides and yeah looking at it and then yeah it does have some good good weight not su not super heavy and not super light so just in between and then there's nice little um soft cloth in there where the where the the speaker diaphragm is and then it's kind of labeled with a little cursive there's the there's the left side with a little l right there and there is the, the r for the right so it's nice it's kind of real subtle but it's it's like most headphones it has usually has something like that in there and then just looking at the band and looking at the stitching looks pretty looks really nice nothing's everything looks pretty um decent good quality for sure definitely so yeah definitely it definitely has some pretty good quality definitely nothing feels super super cheap um, but I mean, I know, like I said, this this headset for the price, what it looks like, it's pretty pretty impressed so far with the the quality, the build in this headset from a structure point of view. So yeah, definitely look like looks pretty good. So yeah, the next section, we're, we're, the next little bit piece, we're gonna now we'll, we'll put the um, the detachable um, headphone on. So let's let's do that right now. Put that back up and let's take out this little this little rubber port that covers it if you don't want to put a microphone. So you have that little option there. And we'll, do, we'll attach this microphone just like so. And it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. There it is. And it's, you know, once you got to make sure it really clicks in place and it does have some flexibility if you want to move that, that boom out of the way. 
And then there's the RGB in action. So it's just a one touch of the button, power button, turn it on and off. A nice little cosmetic feature on the headset for sure. Yeah, usually sometimes these head RGBs, you have to plug it in, but it's nice that they actually have that built in where it's wireless and you don't have to plug it in to get that actually um, to turned on like that. So really nice. So now let's put the, the dongle into the PS5 and give it a good test and give you my assessment. This portion of the video, I'm going to talk about uh, my experience with the Geco G80 wireless gaming headset. Um, it was very positive for sure. Um, first thing I did, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't test this on a Nintendo Switch, which I have, and I'm sure the experience would be the same with the PS5 that I currently have it connected to. You can see the, there's a blue light there. Um, gaming experience was very positive. Um, I, comfort level. Let's talk about the comfort level. Um, putting these on. Definitely not too tight, especially with the cushion. They actually fit very well they um the comfort didn't experience any kind of discomfort wearing these so they definitely do feel comfortable on your head and around your ears do you like the mic it's definitely flexible so if you could take this out um or you can actually just you know pop it out either way so very flexible mic um, also if you do wear glasses like i do sometimes there's really no huge difference um comfort wise wearing glasses or not wearing glasses so that was a very positive experience um, wearing glasses or not wearing glasses. Um, but yeah, these, this headset taken out of the box, um, charging it up. It didn't take too long for the actual, to charge this, this headset up. You did get a red light when it's charging. The light will go out when it's fully charged. Uh, it does have a 10 hour battery, which I didn't fully do that much of an hour game wise to fully test the, but it actually lasted 10 hours, but it does have a 10 hour battery. Um, it does have a, a tone that will let you know that the battery is low which is a nice little feature. Um, with the RGB, another feature I do like is this shift in RGB, this LED on here. It's a nice little cosmetic feature if you're gaming. I know that's pretty uh, pretty neat to have, and I'm kind of glad they included that. Not sure with the LED light having it on and turning it off, if that affects uh, the drainage on your battery. I'm sure it does a little bit, but I'm sure this is very low power. It doesn't really will affect it too much on that. I do like it does have the material. It does have like almost like a rubber fill around here too. It's a nice little, little little feature on that. So yeah, definitely like that. I mean, I do have a uh, Steel Series RTX 5 that has an RGB. You have to plug that in actually to get that effect, um, which I like about these wireless. You don't have to do that. This is, you know, you can turn it on and off and you have this little neat little um, RGB light in effect. Um, this does have two sound modes. Um, it does have the, the normal sound mode. It does also have a virtual 7.1 surround mode um, that I tried both. Um, you can definitely tell a little difference between the two. If you don't want to use it, you don't have to, but it's nice that they include that feature, especially uh, for this price point. Uh, that 7.1 surround mode is definitely a nice little feature. And I could definitely tell a little difference in that with that mode. Um, I don't know what I feel about it, but it's nice that they included that 7.1. It's not a true 7.1, I'm sure, but it's almost, I don't know if it's pretty much a simulated one. Um, but yeah, if, if it really is, I mean, it's definitely did, did a decent job in, in, in initiating or incorporating that type, that sound mode in here. Um, they activate that sound mode to get the 7.1, the, the mic mute button, you um, hit that for three seconds, it'll make a tone, and you know you're in that 7.1. Hit that again for three seconds, and you can disable that, that, that mode. Uh, the mic, I did test the mic out, it does sound pretty good. Um, I actually compared it to the, the Artis 5 um, mic and they sound about as comparable. A little bit of differences, but it definitely a good mic for sure. Um, to mute the mic, you hit that, you hit a little, you get a different tone letting you know it's muted. The only thing I would uh, would like to see in another iteration, which I could, they included on that, is a visual uh, that's in, it's in mute, like maybe a, a red light or some kind of different color light or something. That's the only thing I would, uh, it's a minor little nitpick, I guess, but it would be nice if they had included that, but overall, like I said, I'm glad, you know, at least they, you got a, a tone letting you know it is, it is on um, mute. Um, it does also, when you do the, the high volume, it'll make a, a little tone, a little beep, letting you know you've reached the max volumes and you don't go any higher, you, you know, or if you're trying to get a higher volume, it'll let you know it's your the highest volume, which is a nice, nice feature they included on that as well. Um, I did um, test this on also with the auxiliary cord here the 3.5 on, on either end on my mac with music uh, when you do connect that directly um, all your functionality on these buttons are disabled your rgb is not going to work um, the 7.1 surround sound is not working but it does have a mic inline mic uh, control on the cable um, 
it does have that. So it's nice that they, that's included if you want to uh, use that. But I did test it um, with music. I wanted to see how this sounded with um, just straight music on my Mac. And I was impressed. Uh, definitely a good sounding um, speakers. Nothing audiophile for sure, but definitely for this price point, it was definitely a positive experience. And I even um, tried this bass heavy CD from 1991, Techmaster PEB. Uh, this even says caution, ultra low bass, may damage speakers. I wanted to just kind of see what this would perform with with max bass on you know, on, you know if you're a bass junkie, see what this did, and it did it did it was impressive. I mean it was not super like pounding, but it definitely was a good. Um, it did have some good lows in there, um, nothing super audiophile quality, but it was definitely a pleasant music experience. So definitely good on that aspect as well. Um, but yeah, everything else about this this headset was um, for the price point. But the build quality, everything else about this um, is definitely um, definitely impressive. I would definitely recommend it. So if you're like in the market for looking for a headset for yourself, gaming headset, um, or even for your family, your little ones, your teenagers, whoever may be gaming, and you don't want to spend over $100, um, definitely would recommend something like this. And like I said, on Amazon, there's even a little built-in discount, I think, that you can actually, um, when you buy, if you buy, decided to purchase one of these, um, it definitely is nice to, that's, that's included as, as well with um, through Amazon. So I don't know if that's a, 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 a you know limited time or what. If that's just built in, but yeah, overall um, headset is definitely uh, a, very impressed. Definitely a good value for sure. Um, for if you're not wanting to spend too much money on a headset um, equivalent to this. So, but yeah, like I said, it's um, experience overall. Uh, definitely a good. Um, Headset overall for, uh, for sure, for sure. And um, yeah, and like I said, if you're in the, in the market, definitely would recommend it. And um, I appreciate everyone sticking around in the review and I hope it was definitely helpful for you to make your buying decision if you are in the, in the, in the market for a gaming headset or you know something, maybe non-gaming. I um, hope this was this review was helpful. And do uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you, for more videos like this. I do a lot of gaming tech reviews, um, gameplay, collectibles and what have you. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for future videos. And if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. If you don't, you can always hit that thumbs down as well. So no, no, no issue right in that aspect. So uh, until the next one, take care.